Hello team. I wanted to come on here um, and go over a couple things with you guys. I know how intimidating, scary, exciting, and all the feels it could be with joining with coaching. So I wanted to just really go over the basics with you guys of just your mindset and how to get past those initial startups with this business. So of course you started off making sure that you are in all our team pages, you know when the national wake-up call is, um, making sure your direct deposit is in there. So once you start signing people up, you're getting paid for it um, and all that stuff, right? So after that, I want you guys to really understand that you are not going to be perfect in this business. Like nobody's perfect. And that is the beauty of this business is that we are all learning, failing forward, and just constantly growing. So when you first sign up, I know how scary and you have all the feels, but you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be a certain, you know, fitness expert. You don't have to be a nutritionist. You don't have to know everything about everything. You know, it's more of knowing. And I repeated this in my, my last video with understanding your why and like what your goals are. So as long as you know that why, and you're committing yourself to a health journey for the lifelong, you know, of this business or your life and putting that in combination. So if that made any sense, but, um, but like once you decide to join coaching and decide to pursue a health and fitness journey and share it with others, the rest will come and you don't have to know how to make the perfect Canva picture or how to perfectly invite somebody like there's no such thing. It's all about learning and implementing and taking action. And if something's not working, then you switch it up. But that's the beauty of this business. It's not one size fits all. It's learning from this coach, learning from that coach, Googling something, going through trainings, finding what works for you. So I just want you guys to remember, just take action. Just literally when you sign up, you have everything in place. You're in the team pages, you know, when the team calls are, you have your direct deposit, you learn around your, you learn more about your back office and just dive into it. Dive into a program, um, share on social media. This is what I'm doing. He, you know, I'm scared, I'm nervous, but this is what I am. Please hold me accountable. You know, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot more of this. And that is your coming out post. And then after that, it's about showing up on stories on your page, filming yourself with pictures or a video of you doing certain workouts and your struggles and just sharing your story and inviting people to do the same. What we do as coaches and the best part to think about without being like salesy or spammy and thinking that you don't want to come off as being like awkward or weird is really just sharing something that you love, right? When we go to a store and we see a sale or we find a great pair of leggings or a shirt or sneakers, or something we love, we share it with our friends and family, right? So when you first start off, if you have that warm market of family and friends, maybe your hairdresser, um, the girl you went to school with, your you know person that does your car, like anybody, and that are, are the first people that you should be going to. And if you're too scared, or that's a little bit too iffy for you, then just start forming and finding new connections. A lot of girls who are top coaches in this company did not go to their war market. They started with a cold market and getting to know people in that way because they were afraid. Um, but looking back now, the best people to join you is your friends and your family, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your cousins, like all those people are potential prospects. And rather than just say, thinking that it's something that they're gonna think is awkward or weird of you asking, just think of it as, hey, I'm starting this fitness journey. Maybe I'm dialing in on my nutrition. Maybe I want to lose a couple of pounds. Maybe I just want to tone. Maybe I'm just starting a business venture like this and I'm going to commit to a program and invite people and run these fun groups and see what happens. Like just make it genuine. And once you realize that instead of sharing and being salesy, it's more about meeting people where they are and offering a solution that we have. So we have our fitness, we have our nutrition, we have our support system, we have all the supplements that we have, like a ton of different things. So if somebody is, you're talking to somebody and they're like, no, I don't wanna join this group, um, workouts aren't for me. We have a ton, a ton of objection files and scripts on how to go around that conversation rather than just writing that person off. Maybe it's like, okay, well, do you have a fitness routine or you're doing a fitness routine? That's fine. Maybe you're writing the Peloton right now, which is super, super popular, but that person lacks nutrition. 
or maybe you know that their super, the superfood shakes might be perfect for them. Or maybe they do the Peloton, but they have, you know, little energy, like really getting to know that person. And just because they said no, does not mean not right now. Maybe that means they are trying something right now and you can follow up with them in the future. So making sure that you're creating those those uh, follow-up lists, whether it's on your computer, on an Excel sheet, whether it's one of those programs, whether it's on just a paper and a pen. Um, this is how I do my invites. I use the 100 sheet tracker. I write everyone's name down, whoever's interested. I'll circle it, I'll highlight it, I'll write it in the back and I'll get their email and follow up with them. Like it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to do it and keep track of it because also if you're not tracking your business, then your business is not going to succeed because you're going to start losing conversations. You're going to forget who you're talking to. You're going to forget what that person wanted, what they asked you for. So really just going about it that way. But initially when you're starting off and you have all these little things in place, your first goal is to sign up your first two people, which brings you automatically to Emerald and moves your business forward. So that's what we want for you. That's we want you to find that maybe warm market or your cold market who you're comfortable inviting inviting those people and getting those first people to sign up because that's going to get you into the emerald status you're going to get recognition and then your mindset is going to start to shift into okay i got two people i can do this more i can invite more you get more comfortable and if you are somebody who is uncomfortable with like okay well i just joined i'm doing a program but i still don't know what i'm doing i still don't really know anything about the programs or what shakeology really is or anything like that then do your research and then if somebody asks you a question you don't know, do your research, say, no problem, let me get back to you or don't answer them until you find the answer. So the nice thing with this is that everything is figure outable. If you don't know something, look it up, ask one of us coaches and just keep moving forward. And then for the next person, when they ask you that same question, you're already gonna know the answer and that's how it keeps moving forward. So whatever you do, your action step after this is to just start inviting and start moving forward with this business. Don't wait. And that is why we talked about success starter because when you first join, if you hit success club in your first three months out of the six, you are eligible to win a free trip, be in a test group, recognition, and all these fun things that come along with it. So you wanna make sure you're that success starter, which means that you just started and you're moving your business forward. Like instead of waiting six months to try to figure everything out, just do it now. Just start inviting people, invite your mom, and everybody that you know, and if they say no, they say no. If they say yes, then that's perfect. Like, what do you have to lose? Um, so just keep inviting. And just remember that those initial people that you sign up, and then if you are able to, I would definitely sign up your spouse as one of your first two people. Because when you have you, and then you hit Emerald, which is you plus two. So you have a right leg and a left leg. And you want your spouse or a family member to be one of those first people because later you're going to be able to double dip in income and you're going to be able to grow your family members business forward as well so you're be you're benefiting a lot more down the line running somebody's business over yours as well so if you are able to i would sign up your spouse with maybe they don't want a challenge pack but they you could um sign up the sp your spouse well brain freeze um you could sign up your spouse or a family member with the coach account, which is the $44, and then get your extra supplements under them. Maybe you want the collagen, oh, huge fly, the collagen, or you want the Recover or the Bevy or something on the other side and get that under their account. That way they're active and you have theirs to move forward later down the line once you start growing your own business. So it's definitely gonna benefit. And if you don't, you might regret it later. Um, I know a lot of top coaches, they didn't do it and they're still successful, so if you can't, you can't. I know a lot of people are struggling right now with so many different things, so adding another financial um, like lock onto you might be a little bit difficult, but if you really understand the savings and what it could do for your business forward, I definitely recommend you signing up a spouse or your mom or your dad or your brother or sister, somebody that you can run or your best friend. Um, so definitely do that. But um, on top of that, I just wanted to really let you guys know that we love working as a team together. We create events together. We're always chatting. Uh, we're always doing power hours together um, in the mornings, in the afternoons. So you're never in this alone. So I want you to know that if you have any questions, no question is a stupid question. Like if you have that question, that means somebody else who's brand new or even who has been in this business a long time might have the same question as you. So just ask us, any of us coaches, any questions that you have, 
And honestly, just take those steps and moving your business forward. There's nothing worse than having fear hold you back with not taking those initial steps because you're scared or you're afraid to invite or you're just not making it a priority and you're too nervous or you have you know kids and you have a full-time job and all the excuses right but those moments where you prioritize prioritize this business and make those sacrifices of okay well my favorite tv show is on right now but i'm not going to watch it i'm gonna sit and i'm gonna do my invites or I'm gonna sit while I'm watching my show and maybe form and make new connections and really make this business a priority because that is what it takes. And I mentioned this in my why not how video of knowing that deep rooted why with this business because maybe you wanna be a discount coach. Maybe you wanna just make this a side hustle and invite a couple people and just have that extra income, which is totally fine. But if you are somebody who wants this to be something where you're replacing your your full-time job or you're bringing your spouse home or you want that extra money on the side for your kids savings or going to disneyland then you need to set your actions with your goals and really aligning them where you can move your business forward so i would sacrifice your tv shows or moments that you you know are just sitting doing nothing you know moping around the house and just really Put those action steps into this business and if you sit down and you're like i have no clue what i should be doing right now like should i be inviting should i be forming then i would go on to your beachbody account go to training go to success club system and it gives you the blueprint of what to do every day personal development connections check into the challenge groups form and initiate connections and you could set a timer there or Go to YouTube or the Beachbody, um, Beachbody Champions page and look up Beachbody Power Hour and sit, press play and do exactly what they're doing on the Power Hour. That way you are doing it on your own, but you're following a video of another coach doing something with their business and maybe what they're doing is going to work for you. Maybe it's not, but you could, that's the way that you could kind of figure out what you should be doing so that's what i did in the beginning of my business and i still do it now sometimes rather than listening to music i'll go to youtube and i'll look up beach body power hour and i'll pick one it's about an hour long and i'll follow it how the girl's doing it or the guy and just follow it she'll set a timer and she'll say this is how i run my business for first 10 minutes we're going to do invites for the next 15 we're going to do forming for the next 10 we're going to do follow-ups and that's how you start to get that momentum with rather than sitting and spending 30 minutes on what I should be doing, scrolling Instagram mindlessly, not doing anything, you're sitting, you have a plan in place, you're gonna press play and follow what the girl or guy do, is doing on their power hour and move your business forward. Write those names down, write your invites. I did my invites today, I did my follow-ups, I did checked into the groups, did everything, and then you could walk away. And when you walk away, I want you guys to walk away from the business, like literally shut everything down, don't check your messages unless you want to, um, and spend it with your family or go to your full-time job or whatever it is. But with just one hour a day, even if it's broken up, you can make such a successful business. So I want you guys to know that if you have that routine and you know exactly what you're doing and you can dive in and then walk away when you have to, um, you could be such a great business owner with this. And then all you have to do is invite and teach other people who want to coach to do the same. And that way you're going to grow your business, you're going to grow your team, and you're going to get that residual income and all the things that come along with it. So anyway, this was a little bit of a long video. There was a lot of things in here, but all in all, you guys, don't wait. Don't be a professional. No one is perfect. You're always going to be learning and growing and failing and failing again. But that is what's going to keep the people who are in it for the lifelong of this business making it work is that you're not going to give up. You're going to fail, you're going to cry, you're going to tell your spouse or your family members or your friends that this is not going to work. What am I doing? I have no freaking clue what I'm doing, but you're going to keep showing up and you're going to be consistent and you're going to keep failing and keep getting those invites out. You're going to hear a millions and millions of no's, but with those no's come yeses. And that is why this business is based on inviting and all those people that you form and invite like two or three months ago are the ones that are going to sign up now. So it's a trip. It's a, an effect that goes on and on and on. All right. So just remember that if you're inviting, align them with your actions. The goal that you have in mind with your income or whatever you want is going to have to align with the inviting and the following up that you're going to do. 
and how you're gonna show up to this business. Like I said, whether it's full-time, part-time, as a hobby, you're gonna align that with your actions, with sacrificing time with maybe your family, your friends, and say, listen, honey, I really want to make this business work. I know we usually watch a show or a movie at this time, but I'm gonna sit for an hour and just work on my business a little bit. And that's what it takes. So ask yourself, are you in it for the lifelong? Are you a part-time coach, full-time coach, hobby coach, whatever it is, it's okay. But just make sure that you are true to yourself and then just follow that faith and that belief that this business is possible because it is and the rest is gonna follow. So perfection is not here. It's all about learning, failing, and then growing from that. I first started and I didn't take pictures and now I do. So think about that and take those action steps.